What's up guys, it's PBK and today we're going to be taking apart the new Razer smartphone. Okay, first thing you're going to do, you're going to remove the SIM tray on the side of the phone, which we've already done. Okay, next you're going to have to remove both of the speaker grills on the front of the phone. You're going to have to use a pry tool or something thin enough to fit in between the speaker grill and the frame of the phone. Just as long as you get a little bit underneath. And then you can peel it off. Okay, now you have five T5 Torx screws you need to remove. You have one on the top, four on the bottom, and you also have five Phillips screws you need to remove. You have three on the top, and you have two on the bottom. Go ahead and remove those. Okay, so once you got those screws removed, you're going to need to use your pry tool to get in between the LCD assembly frame and the frame of the phone. You're going to put your pry tool in between, work it in and underneath. And it's going to begin to separate, as you can see, from the frame. Okay, so once you have the phone open, you'll notice there's a very thin heat pipe over here on the back of the screen. And there's also thermal paste on top of it, which goes on top of the processor. And this is the LCD cable to the screen. It's connected on the main board over here. You're gonna have to disconnect it. There's the heat pipe right here. She's very thin. The pry tool goes underneath and Okay, next you're going to want to disconnect the battery cable, which is connected over here. 
lift up this protective film it has. Disconnect that. Next, go ahead and disconnect the cable off the motherboard for the power button over here. And then you're gonna have to remove two Phillips screws to be able to remove the covers over the connector on the volume keys. Now you can disconnect the cable for the volume keys. I have a cable over here marked in blue that's leading towards the charger part on the bottom. Go ahead and disconnect that cable. Once you got that disconnected, there's also a black cable over here on the side. Go ahead and remove that. Just pop it up. Now you have two black Phillips screws on the main board you're gonna have to remove. There's one in the corner over here. And you have one over here by the front facing camera. And then you also have a silver Phillips screw over here on top right. Remove that. And you have one over here on the top left. Remove that. Okay, you have four Phillips screws on the bottom of the gold contacts that are connected to the motherboard. You don't have to remove those four. There's one over here, one here, one here, and one here. Okay, next you're gonna remove this film over here. Now you're gonna remove this connector cover that goes over the camera connector. There's a white rubber over here you have to remove. Once you got that removed, you can disconnect the camera cables. Just be careful not to damage any of the chips on the board while you're trying to disconnect those because they're very close. Okay, now once you got both cables disconnected, underneath the left cable, there's a Phillips screw, a black one. Go ahead and remove that screw. Like remove the camera, or the cameras. Okay, once the cameras are out, you're gonna go ahead and lift up the board and face it towards you, because there's a cable underneath it. Be careful you don't rip it off. Right here underneath it, there's a blue cable connected. Go ahead and disconnect that cable.
Once we got that removed, here's the back of the main board. Here's the front. You have your water damage indicator over here. It's a sticker, that white one. If it ever gets in contact with water, it'll turn pink or red. You have your processor over here with a the thermal paste on it. You have your SIM and your memory card reader over here. Front facing camera. And if you want to remove your front facing camera, there's two Phillips screws on the back. You remove those and you can disconnect the front facing camera. Now here's your top loudspeaker and your earpiece. It also has a water damage indicator over here. Okay, now at this point you're left with the battery, the frame, and the charger port assembly on the bottom with the bottom speaker, the loudspeaker over here. This one also has a water damage indicator on the speaker and right below it on the charger port there's another water damage sticker to indicate if there's ever been any water damage, that white one right there. And if you want to remove the battery, there's these two, one tab over here and one over here. Just lift them up and you pull and this tab will come off from underneath the battery and you can remove the battery. And once you have the battery removed, you'll be able to get access to removing this cable that leads to the charger port. And to remove the charger port and loudspeaker on the bottom, there is four Phillips screws, one on this corner over here, two over here underneath the battery, and one on this corner over here. You go ahead and remove those four screws, and after you have the battery removed, you can remove the charger port assembly. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and reassemble the phone. All right, first thing you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna connect this blue wire on the back of the motherboard. It's going to be connecting over here on the back of the motherboard. Go ahead and connect that. Okay, once you got that blue cable connected, make sure you put your top loudspeaker back in its place first. And then you're going to put the motherboard back in. Just make sure you move all the cables out of the way. Okay, once that's in place, you're going to put the camera assembly back in. Once you've got your camera assembly back in place, go ahead and put the black Phillips screw back for the camera. Once that's in, go ahead and connect both camera cables. Once both camera cables are connected, put the cover for the connectors for the camera back in. And once you got that back in, Put this film back over. Okay, once that's in place, go ahead and put the two black Phillips screws back in place. You have one in the top right corner. That's gonna be holding down the camera connector on the main board, or the cover for the camera connector on the main board. And you have one over here by the loudspeaker, between the loudspeaker and the front facing camera. And then put the two silver Phillips screws back in. You have one on the top right that holds down the top camera cover. And you have the smaller silver Phillips screw on the top left that goes over the gold over here the gold contact. Okay, next we're gonna connect this thin black wire back onto the board over here in the corner. I think these are either with Wi-Fi or antenna wires, the thin ones.
Next, connect the blue cable over here back onto the main board. And then you can connect the volume key cable onto the motherboard over here on the top, uh, top left right here. Okay, next put the cover that goes over the connector for the volume key and charger port back over. Go ahead and put the two Phillips screws back in. Okay, now go ahead and connect the power button cable back to the motherboard. And then next, go ahead and connect the battery cable back on. Okay, now that you got the battery cable connected, you're gonna connect the screen cable back to the motherboard over here. Once that's connected, put this film back over. Okay, now you're gonna go ahead and put the screen back in its place. Pop it back on like that. Make sure it's in. Okay, now go ahead and replace the five Phillips screws back in. You have three on the top and two on the bottom. And three on the top are the ones on the right side. The left corner one is the torque screw. And two on the bottom are over here. Okay, once you got those in, go ahead and put the 5T5 torque screws back in. You have one on the top left corner over here. And you have four on the bottom. Now go ahead and put the speaker grills back on. And if your tape went, or adhesive went bad, just apply some new adhesive. Alright, once those are in place, go ahead and power on the phone, and you're done.